Good evening. We gather this evening to remember and to honor the lives of people dear to you who have died. They were the, your wives and husbands and partners, your mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, sons and daughters, grandparents, other family members, or friends. They were part of your lives and shaped who you are in ways unique and precious to each of you. We are honoring loved ones who died recently. And so for many of you, your journey of healing through grief is in its early months. For others, the grief may have been feeling, you may have been feeling, has been with you for some time. So while each of you hold emotions today, they may be different from each other, but it is true as well that we are all forever joined in this human dance of life and death, and that we are all moving to similar patterns of memory and grief. Many of you traveled a sacred journey with the person you honor here today, giving them extraordinary gifts of care and comfort at the end of their lives. As hospice caregivers, we have been privileged to witness that loving care and to travel parts of the journey with you. And so today, we are blessed, truly blessed, to remember and to honor them as well. We will do so through the reading aloud of names by sharing together the healing power of music and of offering words of reflection and prayer. Today, as always, we are embraced by a source of hope and meaning that is greater than ourselves which holds us in our sorrows as well as our joys. For many of you, that wellspring is God. Others may know it as nature, others as the mysterious thread that binds us to one another and to the universe, or as the deep wisdom at the center of our beings. However we name that river of grace that moves in and through our lives, it embraces us today. In this spirit, we bid you welcome. We are very glad you have decided to join us. Ancient peoples recognized that words can be powerful, and some of the most powerful of all words are names. To say someone's name was to call up the very essence of that person. That essence remains even after they're gone. This evening, let yourself feel the very power and essence of the peoples whose names we read, the people we are here to honor and remember. The names will be read in alphabetical order. After all of the names have been read, we will observe a moment of silence. During that time, we encourage you to add other loved ones you have lost by speaking their names. During these unprecedented times, we would be remiss not to also acknowledge the collective losses of our nation and the world.
Before we begin reading of the names, we would like to acknowledge that many of those we cared for were veterans who proudly served our country. In honor of those, Todd McKenna will read the poem, Flanders Field, by Lieutenant Colonel John McRae. Todd is a valued employee and volunteer of this agency, and he is a veteran. You may recognize Todd if he performed a pinning ceremony for your loved one. Hello, my name is Todd McKenna. I'm one of the veteran volunteers here at Androscoggin Home Health Care and Hospice. I'd like to take a moment to read to you a short story about Lieutenant Colonel John McKay. John McKay, a noted Canadian physician before the Great War, served in Canada's 1st Brigade Artillery as a surgeon. As he worked in sight of the poppy fields blooming across the battlefields and fresh graves, he crafted a moving testimony. The fields where the cemeteries lay was thick with scarlet poppies, their dormant seeds churned up by the guns, blooming despite or because of the carnage. Lieutenant Colonel McRae took the scene and quickly wrote a 15-line poem speaking from the dead to the living in Flanders Field. It was to become the most infamous poem of the Great War, perhaps any war. In Flanders Field, the poppies blow between the crosses row and row that mark the place and in the sky the larks still bravely sing fly scarce a herd amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we live felt down saw sunset glow love and were loved and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up our quarrel with our foe. To you from fallen hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break, faith will us who die. We shall not sleep through poppies grow in Flanders Field. To all of the veterans that we've served here at Androscoggin Home Health Care and Hospice, I would like to thank you for your service. Now our time of remembrance will begin with the reading of the names. Don Abbott. Lorraine Adams, Robert Adams, Alan Alexander, Helen Alisot, Alita Ames, Charles Anair, Rita Anastasio, Scott Anktel, Irene Andrews, Richard Andrews, Wayne Andrews, Christian Alt, Alvin Austin, Tina Ayer, Christine Babcock, Robert Bashioshi, Boyd Batchelder, Betty Baker, Leo Burrill, Ruth Barker, Bertha Barrett, Sherry Barrett, Frank Bartlett, 
Charlotte Bassett, Alan Baver, Paul Bocage, Jeanette Beauchain, Constance Baudouin, Bertrand Boley, Donna Boley, Gerard Boley, Cecil Belange, Georgette Belange, Walter Belden, Jolene Belmare, Claudia Benji, Eleanor Benner, Catherine Bennett, Agnes Bennett, Arthur Bonoy, Richard Bergeron, Priscilla Berman, Robert Bernier, Amber Berry, Margaret Berry, Helen Berube, Ruth Bickford, Amos Bill, Dorothy Billado, Madeline Billado, Lois Binet, Helen Black, Marlene Black, Helen Blake, Germaine Blanchett, Rachel Blanchett, Joan Bluen, Marianne Boffa, Leo Balduk, Paul Balduk, Robert Bowmaster, Angeline Bossy, Norman Bossy, Rena Beauchard, Donna Buffard, Monette Boulanger, Evangeline Barassa, Raymond Butat, Barbara Bovich, Maynard Bowie, Raymond Brackett, Vernon Bradeen, George Bradford, Malcolm Bransky, Mary Briggs, Ricky Brooks, Gerald Broomall, Kathleen Brown, Pauline Brown, Shirley Brown, Joan Brownstein, Arlene Bryden, Francis Boubier, Robert Buck, John Burgess, Reginald Burgess, Ronald Burrell, Joseph Boussier, Wanda Buswell, Priscilla Butler, George Butterfield, James Cameron, Mary Campbell, Herbert Campbell, Doria Cowett, Rose Carboneau, Anne Carlson, Rita Karen, Don Carpenter, Catherine Carroll, Patricia Carver, Margaret Carey, Georgette Casey, Janine Shabbat, Donald Chadwell, Beatrice Chamberlain, Teresa Champagne, Larry Champney, Larry Choate, Mary Samillo, Beatrice Clark, Donald Clifford, Joyce Clifford, Aldea Cloutier, Gary Cobb, Mary Cobb, Aubrey Coffin, Cedric Coffin, Michael Coffrin, Richard Colby, Byron Coley, 
Lucienne Collins, David Connery, Francis Connery, Carolee Condon, Mary Cook, Florence Cooper, Benjamin Copeland, Madeline Cody, Roger Cody, Neil Coughlin, Roland Coulomb, Riel Couture, Thomas Cowdery, Claudette Coy, Edwin Creaser, Leroy Crocker, Richard Crocker, Rachel Crookston, John Crosby, Mary Cummings, Stephanie Curtis, Leland Cushman, Robert Sear, Donald D'Agostino, Arlene Daigle, John Dam, Donald Davis, Leonard Davis, Mary Davis, Edwin Dawson, Elsie Day, Robert Dayon, Lou Decker, Betty DeCoster, Warren DeCoster, Marcel DeForge, Timothy Delisle, Dennis Delmonico, Michael DeLong, Lorraine DeMarche, Robert Demery, Ethelyn DeSandre, Juliet DeRocher, Frederick Devereaux, Joanne Dickinson, Nicholas DeConzo, Jeanette Dedana, Norman Doiron, Olive Donahue, Georgette Donovan, Ernestine Dory, Anita Dosti, Robert Doucette, Warren Dowdy, Jane Dow, Marshall Dow, John Doyle, Bernice Drapeau, Joyce Dubois, Marcel Dubois, Richard Dubois, Pauline Duguay, Lavinia Dumlau, Joan Dupile, Betty Lou Dustin, Timothy Ames, Ruth Eastman, Arthur Edwards, Linnea Edwards, Karen Ellis, Mary Ellis, Teresa Ellis, Sandra Elrich, John Ellsman, Arnold Engstrom, Vaughn Estabrook, Faline Estes, Doris Everett, Alan Farrington, Donald Ferrara, Francis Ferrara, Robert Ferry, Orland Field, Jerry Fish, Pamela Fisher, Juanita Flaherty, Joan Flynn, Roger Fogg, Joan Fontaine, Shirley Footman, Shirley Ford, Barbara Forrest, Lindley Fortier, Stephen Fortin, Ethel Foster, William Fournier, Alan Francesconi, Gregory Francis, Peggy Franklin, 
Yvonne Franklin, Anne Frost, Shirley Frost, Bartholomew Fermanick, Ethel Gagne, Diane Gallant, Irene Gallant, Juliet Gallant, Franklin Gammon, Teresa Garant, David Gardner, Hilda Gardner, Angelina Gothier, Bernice Gothier, Virginia Gothier, Walter Getchell, Carmen Gilbert, Gloria Gillette, Tisha Gerardin, Roland Gerard, Earl Glasscock, Joanna Glidden, Sylvanus Glover, Betty Goodnow, Bertha Goodwin, Carol Gopsel, Catherine Goulding, Charles Grace, Edward Graham, Rachel Grant, Ruth Grayton, Gary Green, Clyde Greenleaf, Helen Greenwood, Lori Grenier, Paula Grimard, Peter Grindle, Linda Grondon, Teresa Gross, Roy Gross, Barbara Gross, Ralph Gushy, Ricky Gustus, Charles Haynes, Robert Haley, Edward Haley, Raul Hamilton, Carlton Bill Hammond, Douglas Hanmer, Karen Hanash, Catherine Hanning, Dale Hardy, Jody Harmon, Carolyn Harness, Donald Harrington, David Harris, Jean Harris, Virginia Harris, Richard Harrison, Sybil Harrison, Helen Harrop, Bruce Hartford, Shirley Heald, Beatrice Hebert, Joseph Hebert, Oscar Hebert, Eva Heifetz, Robert Heikinen, Leona Hendricks, Bonnie Hershey, Albert Hill, William Hines, David Hinckley, Marguerite Hurd, William Hodge, Pauline Hoffman, Lester Holden, Doris Holt, William Holt, Alice Hopkins, Stuart Hosey, Rosanna Hool, James Howard, Marion Howe, Margaret Howitt, Jack Hoyt, Armand Horde, Lewis Hutchins, Barry Hutchinson, Gary Hutchinson, Thaddeus Hyatt, Donald Ineson, Douglas Ivany, Patricia Jacobs, Joseph Jacks, Owen James, George Jameson, Ronald Jean, Carrie Jenkins, 
Desiree Jesmore, Richard Jolin, Gayla Judd, Sherry Ann Judd, Francis Capusta, Luis Kalbach, Thomas Keller, Dorothy Kern, William Kiernan, Donald Kiesman, David Kimball, Richard Kimball, Roland Kerouac, Roberta Kittredge, Mary Knox, Muriel Kramartz, Jeanette Lacasse, Irene Lachance, Alden LeClaire, Marjorie Laud, Marcel Laflamme, Gerard LaFrance, Lucille LaFrance, Richard Legou, Evelyn Lambert, Solange Lambert, Mary Lamond, Ryan Landry, Sylvia Lane, Robert Langelier, Joanne Langlois, Louise Laplante, Louis Laplante, Herbert Larley, Kim Larson, M. Karsten Larson Turley, Roger Lavalley, Paul Levine, Madeline Lavoy, Diane Lavornia, Nicholas Lavornia, Rodney Leach, Philip Learned, Colleen LaBelle, Jean Paul LeBlanc, Raymond LeBlanc, Rene LeBlanc, Ronaldo LeBlond, Richard LeClaire, David Letty, Linda Legere, Dawn Lenus, Nancy Latula, Gladys Layton, Lynn Leonard, Elaine LePage, Odalie Lassard, Norman Levesque, Donald Lewis, George Lewis, Michael Leroux, Mary Libby, Richard Libby, Kathleen Light, Ronald Light, Anne Lindholm, Margaret McFarlane, Robert Masajewski, Muget Mador, Maurice Mayu, Nina Marsh, Joyce Martins, Doris Martin, Bruce Mawinney, Barbara McCarthy, Francis McCourt, Dickie McDonald, Craig McGee, Claire McGraw, David McInnes, George McKay, Catherine McKean, Norman McKean, Janine McKean, Roger McKean, Jacqueline McLean, Joyce McNeil, Orville Meisner, Benjamin Merrick, Angeline Merrill, John Metcalf, James Micklin, Elizabeth Miller, Hope Millett, Randall Millett, Sterling Mills, Christine Mitchell, Louise Mitchell, Richard Mitchell, Donald Nixer, 
Bernice Moores, Stephen Moore, John Moreno, Roland Mori, Betty Morin, Ethelbert Morin, Ina Morrill, Barbara Morse, Walter Morse, Robert Morton, Thomas Moat, Barbara Monroe, Maynard Murphy, Michael Miles, Rita Minahan, Lori Myrick, Yvonne Needham, Linda Nemethy, Carolyn Newton, Helen Nichols, Brenda Nickerson, Mark Nile, Blair Nodden, William Nolan, Andrew Norkin, Kevin O'Connor, Donald Oliver, Teresa Orcutt, Donna Osgood, Betty O'Shea, Diane Willett, James Packard, Roger Page, Richard Payne, Judith Palmer, Sandra Panzieri, Douglas Parker, James Parkinson, Basil Parnes, Phyllis Parrott, Dexter Parsons, Richard Patineau. Susan Patineau, Claudia Patterson, Gay Patterson, Norman Payette, Florence Peach, Larry Pearson, Don Pe Peace, Dolores Pierce, Betty Pelchet, Jackie Pelletier, Gloria Pepin, Teresa Pepin, Deborah Perkins, Robert Perrineau, Gerard Perrin, Dennis Perry, Chantelle Peterson, Emily Petty, Ellery Phillips, Susan Phillips, Nancy Pinkham, Theodore Pitkutz, Pickwitz, Reynold Plo, Mary Plummer, Henry Pisson, Angela Pomerlo, E. Edith Porter, Clifford Pottle, Carol Poulin, Lucille Poulin, Annette Pound, Sally Powell, Sarah Pratt, Chase Prey, Patrick Profeno, Nancy Pullis, Christopher Purdy, Denise Purrington, David Pouchard, John Quimbley, Patrick Quinn, Beverly Radomsky, Caroline Ramsey, Gail Ramsey, Janice Rand, Lisa Randall, Brian Ray, Deborah Reblin, Jerry Reed, Rita Rennie, Claire Rice, Stanley Rice, Elizabeth Rich, Gerald Richards, David Richardson, Marie Ridley, Andrew Ring, David Ring, 
Claudette Robert, Corrine Robert, Kenneth Roberts, Carol Roberts Black, Darla Robertson, Dorothy Robinson, Morris Robinson, Anne Rodrigue, Emily Rogen, Francis Wolf, Maureen Rosenberg, Janine Roy, Barbara Roy, Louise Ruby, Mary Russell, Antonia Samboy, Lucien Samson, Robbie Samson, Bobby Salshear, Andrew Saunders, Jeanette Savage, Leo Zabard, Judith Schwab, B. Jonathan Schneeman, Ursula Scholz, Elizabeth Shane, Benedict Shen, Timothy Sycott, Richard Zamard, Carol Siminski, Pamela Seroys, Janice Seitz, Janice Sloan, Joyce Slocum, Philip Smith, Randall Smith, Robert Smith, Roberta Smith, Deborah Snowman, Richard Somers, Omer Sosi, Harold Spear, Carlton Spencer, Saliba Spotford, Anne St. Alaire, Helen St. Alaire, Jacqueline St. Jean, Marcel St. Pierre, Robert St. Pierre, Rosalie St. Pierre, Deborah Staples, David Stenson, Anita Stevens, Ronald Stevens, William Stevens, David Stewart, Stephen Stone, Annette St. Pierre, Bonita Strout, Fanny Strout, Beatrice Durdevent, Claire Sullivan Goodell, Ernest Swanson, James Swanson, Wilmot Sweetser, Albert Sullivan, Rita Target, Helen Taylor, Valerie Taylor, Kevin Thayer, Joseph Terrian, Janine Thibault, Catherine Thibodeau, Richard Thibodeau, Norma Thiverge, Verna Thomas, Stella Thompson, Michelle Thurlow, Sandra Tibbetts, J. M. Tighe, Judda Tillenberg, Mariette Timberlake, Peter Tong, Olive Toothacre, Lorimer Trafton, Michelle Tremblay, Roxanne Tremblay, Barbara Trepagny, Jean Trepagny, Richard Trimback, Joan Truchon, Lorraine True, Renee Turcotte, Priscilla Turner, Cindy Tuttle, Thomas Twitchell, Calvin Tyler, Conrad Vashon, 
John Valley, Kelly Vasek, Camilla Vasser, Donald Veyu, Norman Veyu, Alice Barrel, Kenneth Barrel, Frank Vogt, Alvin Walker, Alta Waterhouse, June Ware, John Weber, Walter Weber Jr., Charles Weingartner, O. Welch, Hazel Wheeler, Kathleen White, Kenneth White, Hilda Whitmore, Jean Wigan, Carol Wiley, Hope Williams, Kurt Wilson, Rita Wilson, Stephen Wilson, Arthur Witham, Dianel Witham, Barbara Withy, John Wood, Nada Woodcock, Wilma Woodson, Peter Wormstead, Janet Wright, Cindy Wright Hahn, Elaine Wyman, Milford Wyman, Patricia York, Phyllis Young, Edward Zazeki, Linda Zink. If ancient peoples celebrated the power of words through naming names and telling stories, they even more so recognized the mysterious power of silence, the ground out of which all words arise, that sacred quiet. Now for a moment, let us be present with one another in the deep embrace of silence.
Hello, I'm Elizabeth Hart, the Hospice Medical Director and Director of Medical Services for Androscoggin Home Health Care and Hospice. We remember and celebrate with you the lives of those who have recently passed. They were members of your families or your beloved friends. We met them as patients who we cared for through Androscoggin. We are honored and grateful to have been invited into their lives and into your lives. By the nature of our roles, we enter people's lives in moments of incredible vulnerability and sadness. We accompany our patients and families through some of life's most tender and intimate moments. We recognize that it is a privilege and a gift that we are granted this intimacy by our patients and their families. This is an honor that we do not take lightly. We journey with patients and families through the ends of their lives and with you in your grief when they pass. In remembering your loved ones today, I offer these thoughts on behalf of Androscoggin, reflections that we hope may offer you some solace. Relationships do not end when people die. They change to relationships with memories and shared stories. Memories of lives well lived, together and sometimes apart. In these times when contact with those whom we love is often limited and grief so deeply affected by distance, it is more important than ever to remind ourselves that there are a multitude of ways of being present and only one of them is physical. St. John Chrysostom captured this so well in just a few brief words he wrote, those whom we love and lose are no longer where they were before. They are now everywhere that we are. His words remind me when grief wells up that those we have lost are with us always. They have touched our lives in ways that are part of us every day. Often we find that it may be helpful to name for ourselves the ways that they are with us, to share a story, to cultivate a shared memory, to ask ourselves what would they want us to remember most about them? What of them do we carry with us everywhere we go? What is their legacy? the gift that they leave us. We may find that we reconnect with our loved ones in our hearts and memories best by sharing stories. Or as my wise mother once said when she invited us at my dad's memorial service, let's tell stories about Don, the person, not Don, the patient. This invitation encourages us to create moments of joy in our collective memories. Maybe memories from childhood, if this is a loved one that you have known that long. Or maybe from how you met, if this is a cherished friend or your life partner. Or of a favorite family story or holiday tradition or mem remembrance. The moments of joy that help us to see our loved ones once again in the fullness of their lives. Moments that may have been harder to remember when so much may have become blurred by a focus on illness toward the ends of their lives. 
Let's pause for a moment now and hold a memory in that deep space of the heart that brings those we have loved and lost back to us, a beloved presence in our lives. As we grieve, it is so important that we give ourselves the emotional and physical space to grieve each in our own way, to be patient with ourselves and with our grief in the varied ways that it may present itself. Grief has its own, at times, unpredictable rhythms. It may ebb and flow unexpectedly sometimes at moments that unsettle us when it may be so unwelcome. In allowing ourselves these moments, we begin to heal and transform grief into growth. Each of us experiences grief that is uniquely our own, while grief and loss are universally shared. The poet Mary Oliver Offered, offered us a brief poem, The Uses of Sorrow, that speaks to that which grief and love and memory may offer us all. The Uses of Sorrow. In my sleep, I dreamed this poem. Someone I love once gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that this too was a gift. Let us join together in a closing prayer. We give thanks for the lives we have remembered and honored here this evening. We give thanks for the mystery that sustains us in life and embraces us in death. Humbly we have stood in the face of death. Confidently we now stand with life. Our strength is the strength of many. Indeed, it is the strength of all humanity throughout all of time because we share one fate and a great compassion. May understanding go with us and peace too, that we may live together in charity, compassion, and joy this day and always. Amen, and blessings be to all of us.